I have no idea what I'm talking about, so. Now it's part. But Brandon is sleepy, right? Yeah. Brandon is sleepy. Brandon is sleepy. What map is this? Oh! Oh, he's got a game on! <laughs> Top right. Alright, so, some basics about StarCraft real quick. Uh, your goal is to kill each other. In the most gruesome and efficient fashion. Uh, down here we have what's called a Terran. People who know StarCraft has just shut up and listen. Uh, Terran, basically space humans that are somewhat genetically mutated. Uh, and then you have Protoss, who are like, more mutated human. Uh, look like robots, use a lot of energy, and like to eat crystals. Um, what you're looking at is what we call workers. These guys are like busy little drones that collect the car, collect the crystal, and they put it all together. You can use it to build stuff. Stuff that we'll see uh, in a bit. Sleepy is the um, is the white Terran. Like and that's Brendan. And that's Brendan. So on the right, that Brendan, Brendan is sleepy. Um, and then you have uh, Jamie as Protoss. That's the space robots. Uh, it is blue, and for some reason he wants to call himself Fredo Pio. <laughs> what that means? It means I'm hungry. It means he's hungry. Fine, whatever. Jeez. The Terran first. Yeah, they're building the planet right now. Uh, I, need, I need to. Um, each other. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. I'll, I'll do it. So, there's no tactic going on yet because uh, what you're trying to do at first is to drone out. What they call well, worker up, worker up. So they're yeah. So the more workers you have, the faster you collect your resources, which means the more resources you have, you can faster, faster you can kill each other. Um, and uh, what they're starting to do now is the Terra is now building what's called a Terra Barracks. This is where all the nasty Marines are going to come out and try to kill the space aliens. Um, they're, they're not xenophobic, they just like to shoot things, um, like you do in Texas. Um, Protoss is doing the same thing. Their, their barracks is called a Gateway. Effectively, they're summoning things from somewhere else in the world. Um, you can see the Gateway being finished. First thing is probably going to pop out of it is going to be a Zealot. Um, we can see there are two resources being collected. You have the, the blue looking thingies on the side here. Um, they're used for your more basic units. And you have something called an assimilator that's collecting something more uh, interesting. It's called a gas that's used to build your aircraft carriers, all the exciting stuff. Well, hopefully we're going to see that exciting stuff later. We can see Sleepy sent out a little lonely little worker to try to scout out and try to find his opponent. Um, there are a couple of important reasons why he's wasting, you know, a, what seems to be a, you know, pretty weak little thing, but this is actually very important because this little worker could be collecting a resource now, but he's now just wandering around trying to find his opponent. And the reason behind is, if you know what your opponent is, they only meet each other, um, but they don't, they don't do much because, you know, workers are not built to kill people, so they just say hello to each other and, and uh, go on their way. Um, very lucky for Sleepy, I think he's gonna find our hungry dude in a second here. Goes up the ramp, finds the Protoss base. So this is a big step because he knows the Protoss now has two gateways and uh, he can sort of expect what's coming out of two gateways. Um, having two gateways generally means you're, you're getting ready for early aggression, right? Otherwise you just need one. Having two gateways, now, now we have something called a Dragoon popping out. This is a... This is a, a four-legged machine that's occupied by a deceased uh, warrior from the past, right? Go back to the Dragoon. <laughs> so the Dragoon is right now trying to hunt down the uh, the human, the terror worker there to, pre to prevent him from gathering more resources, uh, gathering more information. So we have the uh, the Protoss little drone there trying to find the Terran base, but I don't think he's going to like what he finds. Uh, he's going to run into three Marines, locked and loaded, and start shooting him. Sleepy doesn't let his marines get out of position because he doesn't know what else is coming. So he's going to keep them on that ramp. That ramp is a very good defensive position. Uh, and now we have a, a lonely dragoon pushing up. Where is this? This is the middle of the map. In the middle, yeah. So now we see something interesting, right? So usually you build your structure and your stuff at your own base. 
I'm hungry now. He is now building his um, production facility in the center of the map. Now, there are two things to this. One, you can get your troops to the enemy a lot quicker. And two, um, this is very unexpected for your for your opponent. Dragoon is hunting down, trying to hunt down. They have to kill. They have to kill this SCV. He's blocking SCV. So Sleepy doesn't know what's coming his way. Show me the, show me the robot again. So what he's building now is called a robotics facility, and it's something very nasty can potentially pop out of this. And uh, I sh we should be seeing something that resembles a big bug. Um, that's going to be a reaver, and we'll, when it comes to that, we'll see what the reaver can do to a, to a poor group of space terrans that, that seem to be hunkering in their base. Show me the tank. Show me the tank. Yeah. What you're seeing here is a terran siege tank, a tank that, that kind of makes the bulk of the terran army. Very, very good at playing from a defensive position. Look at this, they are not moving. They are moving, they are moving now. Now the Terran's moving out. But they're gonna ride, they're gonna ride into three Dragoons in perfect positions. The tank doesn't have siege, it seems. Yeah, not yet. The tank doesn't have siege, which means it's just a siege. Now the, now the Dragoons are running away and shooting back because they have longer range than the Marines. Now we have something called a spider mine. That's that little, little buck looking thing on the ground. And that thing got the trigger. Show me. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah. So what happened there was we had a, we had a spider mine that just killed a dragoon, and uh, now our protoss is holding his ground and happy to just contain the Terran. And the reason being, if you can't leave your base, you cannot expand. You can't get more resources. Two vulture bikes. These are very fast scouting units. They can drop down something called a spider mine. That mine is going to trigger. That's a really bad news for the Protoss that, is, that the Vultures got around. Hopefully they can spot the robotics facility. Seems they don't. Seems they're going the wrong direction. They're trying to go around back to our Protoss base. Um, and we now have... Show me the robotics. We don't have a, we don't have a shuttle coming out. This is uh, the first flying unit we have in the game. This little thing can carry your units uh, and flow, uh, fly them to uh, other places. There's a lot of tactical complications that comes from that. We'll see what happens. Our Protoss base is very well defended, a Dragoon blocking that ramp, and those Vultures won't make it up for sure. Now they're just happy camping down there, digging some mines. And nothing's gonna happen here, unless that Zealot runs into the Spider-Man. The Zealots are now clearing the mines for the Dragoons. So the Zealots are, you can think about these guys as very cheap and resilient units. So they run in, they trigger the mines, and the more important uh, units can come by. So now we have a. No, was that a reaver in the? That was a. So that was a reaver, uh, a giant bug, in the shuttle. So what our Protoss is going to do is something very cheeky. He's going to try to use the shuttle, pull the shuttle. He's going to use the shuttle to go around the defenses. He's going. Out, he's doing it a little too obviously. So the Terran now knows what he's up to. He's trying to go around the defenses. Now the Terran sees it, and he's going to try to use the big bug to kill as many workers as he can. So now he's using the Dragoon to draw the fire off the siege tank and using the that's a lovely shot there by the river. Close to like five to six workers killed and just one Dragoon lost. Um, workers are very, very valuable because every one of them dead is another one you have to replace. And while you're replacing it, they're not collecting minerals you need. So a Protoss player definitely knows what he's doing. He's happy to just keep harassing this base. Comes back with a reaver. Thinks about dropping it. Drops the Dragoon first. Draws a fire from the siege tank. River fires. Four SCV killed. Oh, that is just a beautiful play there. It's a poor tank. Poor tank running around. Poor tank saying, please don't drop on top of me. I would hear some anti-air fire. That's an observer. That's a cute little robot that tries to scout for his troops. And he cannot be seen unless by a missile turret. So our turret is now very unhealthily contain and we have the Protoss forces massing up. Interestingly, I think none of the players has gone for an upgrade at this point, which means their their troops are just the same as how they come in, right? Um, which is not great. Love to see, you know, at least the Protoss start to throw in some money. Again, the Protoss comes in, shuttle from a different angle, but sees a missile turret, needs to run away. This this shuttle needs to run away. Shuttle needs to run. Shuttle doesn't get away. Okay, that reaver's not in trouble. 
The Reaver's now stuck in a Terran base. Sure, he's powerful, but he doesn't have the range to counter them. Siege mode, siege tanks. And then I'll start to clear the base out. That Reaver, though, very resilient. Still fighting for his life. Go, it can. It's got 15 kills on it. This is a very, very well invested uh, unit. 17 kills on one unit. The giant bug is making, is earning his keep. Comes around, fires another shot. Now the tank comes in to clear him up. Kills the tank! Nine health and two shields. This is amazing. This Reaver is going to win the game for him. Big shot on the... I think this is the end of the Reaver now. Nope! Tank is out of range! Big news away! Oh, this MVP Reaver here. Kills another SCV. 20 kills. I think that tank is still out of range. That tank is still out of range. Two more tanks coming in. Finally, the Reaver goes down. Finally, but we can see that... That was one unit drawing the entire Terran army out of position. What I love to have seen was the Protoss pushing in at the same time, but I guess, you know, the APM requirement was just a little too high. We have a healthy Protoss army hanging in the back. But one thing we have to keep in mind is the Terran had an expansion running a little sooner than the Protoss, so more income to the Terran. So it may look like he took a lot of damage along the way, He's still in this, setting up his defenses, now he's wasting money on the, on the missile turrets. But we know that Protoss doesn't have a shuttle anymore. So this same tactic is not coming again. SCV is going back to work, two tanks setting up a defensive perimeter. Number one, what do you want to see the Protoss do now, now that he has complete map control? I think now they are doing some very um, official tactics. Doing number our number dragon to overwhelm all the city tankers and the Terran units. So now we have a wave of dragoons coming through the side of the Terran defense line, trying to make it through. Vultures trying their best. There are three siege tanks in a bunker. I don't like the Protoss chances here. What I think they should do is put these dragoons into a shuttle, go up the cliff, and go attack the main base like the Reaver did before. Now they're just at a really bad spot. Siege tanks on all sides. Well, that's the Reaver trying to make his way in again. Can we take a look if, uh, if the Reaver's in there? I don't think there's a Reaver in the shuttle. Not really. But I don't think there's a... There is a Reaver in the shuttle! Shuttle comes out, two SCV kills, a Dragoon to protect the Reaver from pesky, pesky Terran units. The Terran just doesn't have a response to this. I mean... I would love to see some air units to shut down this airdrop, but our Terran players are really suffering now. Finally gets taken out, but the Reaver's still there. Seems a little bit bottled in by the missile turret. Not even. Makes his way through. I mean, one more missile turret would have helped, but a little too late. Now, he, now he's starting to take down the armory. That's going to shut down the Terra and upgrades very, very efficiently and effectively. There's nothing that can touch this Reaver. There's nothing, there's literally nothing that can touch this Reaver right now. The, the Siege Chain is out of position. They're being, they're being new armor here. So a new armory being dropped. And I think this is why, I think the reason behind it is the, the Terra play is trying to build something called a Goliath. A Goliath is this bipedal robot that is great at shutting down air units. But it's too little too late. I mean, you have tanks that are camping something they can't hit, right? Yeah, the tanks are sitting there, but the, the shuttle's gone. Reaver inside, healthy, ready to, to cause mayhem again. Meanwhile, Protoss they developed three extensions on the 9th floor. <laughs> and they blocked these three pylons. They're not coming in. They're not coming in. Oh, they're, they're, they're coming in. in. They're making it in. There's a there's a gap in the blockage. These vultures are great at doing this kind of work, uh, dropping spider mines in the mineral lines and, and kill everything in sight. Because the, the workers don't. I mean, however cute they are, they don't stand a chance. Dragoon comes in. Big Daddy's home. Vultures are all leaving. I don't know what the vultures are doing. No, nope, now they're all dead. I mean, no one do you think that was a worthy harassment? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so, yeah. No. I mean, killed maybe three, four workers, two vultures. Two more comes through. 
I think the giant Protoss army is now slightly out of position. They're they're not really blocking the bridge. Our Terran units are just flowing through. What they could be doing is move a little bit to the left. Use Observer to clear the spider mines. Now we have these pesky little vultures trying to find other bases to harass. Find some pylon? That doesn't do too much. Love to see some aggressive play from a Terran player. I think he's, he's finally saved enough siege tanks to make a push out. But he seems to be happy just moving his vultures around, causing, causing mayhem. Our Protoss Wage has added on two more, pro, two more Protoss gateways. He's trying to ramp up his production and get more units on the field. Um, bunch of Dragoons chasing two vultures. Best of luck with that. Vultures are considerably faster. Leaves mines behind. Constantly it causes harassment to the Dragoons. Runs away even. He's got one more. Our Terran player is really relying on these vultures. Oh, that vulture just <laughs> killed himself with his own spider mine. Good job, sir. If you look at the population here, I mean, our Protoss plays at 102. Terran's at 81. When you take the workers out, that means a substantial army lead for the Protoss player. But um, he's playing very cautious here. Where is he? Giant wave. Call the siege tanks out of position. Two of them are not sieged up. Yeah, can we get the mine now? Two of the siege tanks are in the back. Now they're sieging up. Four siege tanks against what looks like a, a squadron of dragoons. They're, oh shit! Oh, that was such mine. a good job. My kill the shuttle here. dropped something, faded the mines into their own siege tanks. Our Protoss player seems to be breaking through now. Another Terran command center. So Terran buildings um, can actually transform and fly at a very slow pace. So you can build something in your own base and tell them to go to the air and fly to another location. That's what our Terran player is doing. Curious to see where he's sending that command center. That's a very expensive unit. Um, that's used literally as the commander's command center of your army, but it's armed, it's not armed with anything. More siege tanks getting into position, but not too many vulture mines to protect them. I'm starting to think both players are taking a very defensive stance. Protoss really need to put their stronger economy to use and start popping out more mass units and maybe even drop some photon turrets to these fixed defenses they can build in their base to defend against these pesky vultures. Um, the Terran are buying themselves a decent space just by harassing the Protoss effectively. A little observer running away from a missile turret, nothing he can do about that. A supply depot! <laughs> so it seems our Terran is happy with the trench warfare here, just start to build blocker buildings in the way of their enemies the uh, uh, route of offense to block their tanks from uh, from pending dragoons more vulture mines being dropped it's slowly devolving into a uh, into a, a trench warfare here i have to say no one that's a very very vulnerable expansion position i'm sure about Terran is really needed this three um third extension because they are now uh, running out of the resources. Look at this number. Able Pio is like outnumbered by minerals and gas, they are rich, but compared to Terran, they only have two extensions so far. Now they have three extensions, so now they are building very strong defense there. Let's see how it goes out there. It seems our Protoss players are having trouble closing the game after the strong early game. Zealous finally finds the expansion, tries to go up the ramp, draws the mine back to the Terran units. I think this uh, this expansion is not long for this world. Zealous gets in close. Sitcom. These melee units are really quick at taking down armored units, but only if they can get close. A sea of vultures come in to clear out these units. But I think the jig is up. I mean, the stronger Protoss army knows there's a Terran expansion here. Making a push on two fronts, catches three tanks, not sieged up. But uh, not making too many gains. 
No. <laughs> I really love what our pro house player is doing here. Simultaneous attacks from multiple fronts. Zealots rushing in, trying to take down those blocking structures and kill some of the vultures as they're at it. <laughs> Once again, Jamin is a uh, blue color Protoss and Mintu is the other uh, white color Karan player. So our Protoss player has seven gateways, but I'm not seeing them at work. Most of them are not producing anything, I don't think. This is, um, and I think the Protoss player also has some uh, idle workers. A fourth base. From our full toss. You know, I think he's got enough to close the game. He just needs to maybe set up better defenses in the bases and start pushing the Terran behind. Vulture still trying to find gaps in defenses. They're finding fewer and fewer. Curious to see Vultures are breaking throughout, dropping the mines in between two armies of Dragoons. Mines pop up, don't do too much damage, but the Vultures make it through. Love to see what these five guys can do on their own. Seems a happy uh, waiting there. Just really try to make it to the second base of the Protoss player. No defense is there. Healthy stack of workers, all harmonists are ready to be taken care of. Who's winning? He's eating now. Okay, I gotta keep this guy. Let's catch up. You guys going to. So now, Karan is uh, using the departures to find out the all those um, protos around this map. Because the vultures are really fast and they use this kind of mine. These are the pain in the ass of those protos ground units. So they'll keep uh, this uh, put mining on the ground, so all this ground units and protests will have some super damage before they push out the enemy there. Virtues so, are everywhere now. Same thing, same thing going on. Vulture is trying to find gaps in defenses, finds a giant ball of Protoss here, and it gets annihilated. Protoss, run away. Run away! Sure, you can just die there too. Both our players trying to inch their way to the victory here just by winning a little bit here, a little bit there. Five workers sitting at the base and not doing anything. Like I said before, every worker sitting around is a worker not making money for the player. I mean, these players are clicking 240 something times a minute. That means one click every four clicks every second, give it or take. And uh, you still have these workers that are not doing anything. Not anymore, I guess they were sent to work. Maybe you heard me. No power. Brandon, can you hear me? Your workers are not working. <laughs> Okay, seems you can't. I love this low little dragoon here just sitting on the ramp. You know what? I'll protect my babies. That's okay. Giant wall of zealots. Zealots and dragoons. But, you know, I really want to see more from a Protoss. Just, you have a giant economic lead. He's had 1,000 and 1,700 or 800 minerals. He's not spending it on anything. You can even just burn through the mineral with zealots and you can get a huge advantage. Now we have an interesting unit coming through an orbiter. An orbiter makes all friendly units within a certain radius invisible to the enemy. 
Which means those tanks will be in trouble if a science vessel wasn't with them. So we can see a giant mechanical looking ball there. That's a Terran science vessel, which also acts as a detector, which means it can detect any invisible units. Arbiter pulls back with the units. And we can see this long held territory by the Protoss, full of Terran hands. Arbiter goes around, tries to freeze the tanks. Only freezes two, so Arbiter has an ability that can freeze certain units, which renders them helpless and useless. But it's it needs to be targeted quite carefully. Our Protoss player only manages to freeze two out of what seems to be ten tanks. Doesn't really make much of a dent in army. A lone observer looking at Spire Mines. Story of Terran versus Protoss. Finally, some action. We can see a line of siege tanks accompanied by vultures moving out. Curious where they're going. They seem to be taking, uh, trying to cut the Protoss Empire by half. Oh, uh, I like what this is. What, 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 I really like what this is. What Terran is doing now is effectively cutting the Protoss Empire in two. Except they didn't see jump in time. Now they're falling back because outnumbered by invisible dragoons. We can see some of the dragoons that look very, very shady. That means they're, they're just simply not visible to the Terran player. I don't like that. Siege tanks, not siege stuff, caught in a bad position. Thankfully, a wall of spider mines. But these spider mines can work against the Terran player. If they're triggered, they're gonna hit the tanks too. Goliaths coming in. These are the bipedal robots that are great against air units, not so great against invisible dragoons. Well, that arbiter's in trouble. Missiles coming through. It seems that Goliath saved the day. Giant robots does 20 plus 8 damage to arrow units, but they're just not that good against the dragoons. They really need to be accompanied by a strong wall of tanks. Science vessel coming in. The science vessels move way too closely to the dragoons, gets annihilated. Now the tanks are blind again. Oh, poor tanks. Surrounded by what seems to be. A losing Protoss army? I wonder how that happened. Kill them. Three of the tank gets frozen in the sinker. You know what? I'm surprised our Terran players held the ground. What do you think, number one? If this is a situation right now, I think uh, Slippy has now on the, the, on the advantage of that battle. I really think Jamie should produce more higher technical levels using like a carrier or something like that. Absolutely. I think uh, the Terran is very invested on, on the ground. If he just switches it up to aerial assault, you know, carriers or or even just some Corsairs to deal with, you know, some static defenses, that would be helpful. Or even our cars or that, Templars. Yep. You know what, Templars? I, you know what? I don't think Templars are going to be that helpful. Tanks just outrage them. But Archons can definitely break through a line of tanks, especially without ghosts. So Terran has a, this funny little unit called a ghost um, that can annihilate Protoss armies by eliminating their shields, except our Terran army is not making any of those. Terran army moves to the left, tries to take down expansion. A wall of zealots goes through the middle. I don't like this. I don't think the, 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 the Protoss army should have swung a lab and try to take down the tanks. They should have further pushed to the right. There really wasn't anything that was in their way. But you know what? They do a good job. Clear up this little incursion of Terran units. Wow. But um, look at the supplies. Our Protoss is running on 156 units. And our Terran's only surviving on 106. And that includes maybe 30 to 40 populations of workers. So. It's not looking good for a Terran player. One of these expansions is finally under attack with all the wall of tanks to defend it. These poor little workers trying to get away. Gets blocked by their own tanks. Gets stuck on the ramp. And this is the expansion going down. We have a tank sieged up but being torn to shreds by a Zella next to it. Tank dies. 
That's one CC. That's one command center going down. And our Terran player seems to be running out of money. Now one. Yeah. Nine hundred. He's he's barely surviving. Like, you know, hundred minerals. Um, static defenses are still there, but I don't think they can stop a Protoss army that's that big. What just happened to this Terran player? They like they divided two groups into their armies to hit this. Um, the eleven club base, and then Protoss they just cut in the line. So that's how I they are doing. Do you want the mic a little louder? But, oh, can you do that? Oh, really? yeah. How can we do that? Can you do that? Can you turn it on louder? I don't know. Maybe you can just talk closer. Just talk a little closer. All right. So those SUVs are loose. Poor little SUVs, man. I mean, they did their work. You know, just trying to go all another. Going back to. A base is way too crowded with SCVs. Look at all those people over there. Um, interesting how the Protoss player pulled back. I thought he had advantage. He could have pushed in. Three attack on those out. So for those who don't know, uh, you can upgrade the attack and defense of our units, and and they're very, very detrimental to people who don't do that. People to us who are army who are not upgraded because they are substantially more powerful when you spend money to upgrade their attack and defense. Porto SUV trying to find a home. Gets shut down by a wall of Protoss units. Two zealots. It's common common theme across the map here. Terra units being chased around a wall of science vessels. Why do you think he's he's massing so many science vessels now? Why? I'm not yeah, because of course Arbiter and Arbiter should be like uh, paying them the ass of the Terran because they needed to stick to to see all those units behind the Arbiter. I, I agree, but don't you only need one science vessel to act as a detector? What are three doing here, a whole bunch of stuff? That is a good question. I think two would be enough, but yeah. maybe in case in the cautious, right? So maybe in the case of theirs all gone, then Terrans will have no chance. So that's why I think they put the three units there. Yep. I agree. I think that's, you know, 600 gas we're looking at sitting there doing nothing. Vulture's still trying to make it across. That's getting more and more difficult for them. Finds a random zealot. This vulture's going down. Look at this. Look at those minerals now. Bagel Pio has like 3,000 compared to Sleepy. And this is not a good sign actually. You have to use them. You have to use. Oh, look at these numbers. Now, Protoss has reached their maximum unit number 200, 200. So. Time to move on. Yep, there is a population cap, which means once you reach uh, 200 units, you can't build anymore. You gotta either use them to fight or kill them yourself. So, our Protoss player is now stuck with a wall of units. I would just like him to throw those units away. He he obviously doesn't know how advanced, how in, how much of an advantage he has. You know, he's still playing it safe. He's got units everywhere in a very defensive posture. Recall goes back. Taking DTs and Zealots into the base of the Terran. The Arbiter might get shut down by the not even, not good enough. So now you have these invisible units running around the base. Yeah. 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 Game. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Alright, game starts in four seconds. Okay. Same okay. matchup. Game on, same matchup. <laughs> well, except they can't hear you because they're wearing noise canceling headsets. <laughs> um, but yeah, wave those forms around. I think it's definitely see those. Same matchup, different map. Uh, I'm not personally familiar with the maps, and I'm gonna talk about it. Same race, same races going on. Like, I would love to see some different matchup here, but these players are most comfortable with these two races, and that's what they picked. So no map, no map is changing. So, so with a different map, we'll see how they how they change up their strategy. Last time, the Terran was pretty happy turtling up in the corner of a map and just being pounded on. Let's hope we can do something different this time. So in this map, I think there's a the backyard behind base. I think so. Is that an island? And I think so. It's it's island. Yeah. A slightly distant pylon. I think that's just used to block the ramp. I'm not expecting anything funky coming out of that one. There's a path here. What is that? Oh, there's a path here. 
Uh, no, well, why is I supply depot right between a gas and a command center? I don't know. Exactly, I think that's blocking his workers. It's probably getting a lot. He's probably getting fewer, uh, less gases from that. What is that shit in the way? Well, let's see how it works. I have no idea yet. I mean, it's counter harassment. I don't know. I think that's just a bad placement for depot. No, it's going on. That's a very early drone coming out. Look at this. A Protoss gateway from. So every Protoss building needs to be powered by a pylon. In this case, the pylon is above the cliff and it's powering a Protoss gateway down below. So anyone running around won't be able to see the pylon powering it. Curious what our Protoss player wants to do. And now they are. Now they run into each other. Immediately know what's where each other is. Protoss is definitely going to find his opponent, that works very well because he's obviously he has an offensive, offensive strategy in mind. I wish we could see that what's being produced in the unit, no? I wish we could see what's being produced in a, in a barrier, in a gateway. We can't re we know they're bu building something, yeah, we, we don't know what it is. Right? So there's a Marie coming out, but here's a pesky little drone running around causing trouble. Okay. Now we can know. Our Terra player now. sees the really weirdly placed gateway. And now here's what's going on. What is going on with our Protoss they player? Are not the so game. now there are two SCV, one Marine blocking the ramp. The four, Reinforced four. with five SCVs. Because he knows that little Zealot's coming in. Now he's trying to block it. Very, very well done by our Terra player. We now have the SCVs blocking the ramp, pulling back through his friends when he takes unit. But that one gets stuck, that one gets taken out. But that Zealot's not going anywhere. Zella goes down. But you know what? I think he made a dent because he uh, every Zella costs 100 minerals and two SCVs cost 100. So, and these are SCVs not on mining. Careful now, another Zella comes in, starts killing the SCVs, SCV needs to pull back, not soon enough, guys. Zella runs away, Zella should really be hitting the other one, the other one. Oh, Zella goes down. One more Zella coming out. One more Zella coming through. Wait, 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 down here, they have that is five SCVs and four more, five Marines moving out. Are we going to see early aggression from the Terran to counter this very aggressive play? Leaves that Zella alone. Zella comes back. Zella comes he back. knows. He knows his base needs help. He knows his base needs help. Some micro from the uh, Terra player there, taking no casualties, taking down another Zella. That was it. Now we have one Zella. That's all, that's all he has, right? That's the yeah. one Zella. So now we have one Zella against five Marines now and four SCVs. Two Zellas. I don't like their chances. I think they're gonna get overwhelmed. They all depend on micro control. They all comes down to micro. Another <laughs> 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 runs away. So two zealots, chickens out, pieces pants, runs away. Leg with tail between the legs. You know what? If you push a little more, this could have been over. I didn't think the Protoss had enough to stop it. Yeah. Right? If, if he took down the the gateway there, he uh, would have won the game there. A little bit of missed opportunity. That's a pylon and a Templar archives. That. DT that, is to show up. This doesn't bold well. Oh, okay. Templar Archives allows Protoss player to produce something called a Dark Templar. A Dark Templar comes naturally stealth, which means unless you have detection, you can't see the damn thing killing everything you have. But if the SCV knows that, then it did not work well. We... well, here's the thing, that SCV is going totally the wrong way and getting chased down by a group of fucking people. SCV finds the ramp, goes up the ramp, he needs to see the Archive. He needs to see the Templar Archive. Moose! Moose! No something's up. Now he should. saw the archive. Now he's now he knows it's coming. Now the Terran knows it's coming. He should be placing yeah, immediately. Now yep, he's now getting immediately uh, missile turrets as detection. Engineering bay. Engineering bay. So he can put down. Let's go right now. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Thanks, man. What's up? Thanks for that. I should go right now. 
BT is coming in. BT dig with this. So one. the Templar Archive allows you to, it's a high tech building, allows you to make those uh, pesky BTs. They're called Dark Templars. And these things are, like I said, naturally stealth. So, you, so now it's making its way here. If he gets here before that eBay, that engineering bay is over, the game's over. No, look at this now. They build this mine. Uh, no. See, if you don't have detection, there's one little thing that has detection. That's spider mines. So these things can potentially kill the Dark Templars, except the Protoss player expects that and sends the Zealots in first. If he sent in the DTs, they would have died. One Zealot for three. There's one more. There's one more on the ramp. Doesn't kill the DT. The DT can't take one hit. Oh shit! Oh, that is one spider mine that killed two of his own marines. Three more marines died. That DT is still alive though. That's not good. That that needs to be repaired right away, but I think that's too late. That spider mine missed. That DT is gonna clear house. This is bad for the Terran. He needs to run his SCVs away and try to bait the DT into a spider mine. Get you that! Oh, oh, I'm losing five SCVs in the process. Sure, DT died, but freaking spider mine probably killed more workers than the DT ever could. Yeah, they only built by only two. So the Terran player three, is now three, three workers. And now he has another wave of Protoss units coming in. Vultures dropping mines everywhere. This doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. Well, now they build just for it. They yep. know what's coming. Yep, now the DTs are in trouble because there is a missile turret on the ramp. But look at his minerals. No, he look at look at our Protoss player with already with the second base running. Uh, no. DT's depending it. He's reaping in the cash. I like these two vultures though. Like last game, these vultures are buying the Terran player a lot of time. Just being really, really annoying. You, know, you never know what yeah. they're gonna do. Yeah. Terran's busy droning up again, trying to get the SCVs in play. That's tough. It's gonna be a tough game for the Terra now. Man, this game... This is gonna be tough for the Terra to turn around. He just doesn't... I think he has the means, he just doesn't have the economy to support it. The I mean, the mines will defend his base, but eventually that base is gonna run out. Doesn't kill the DT. Now she's hiding there. He's just hiding in the base. He's just trying to ambush that little poor SCV, trying to build another base. Now Protoss is building this, um, three more gateways. Three more, three more gateways Wave coming through. And Dragon will come. You know, I actually, I was expecting our Protoss players to do something fun, you know, given that this is the final game of the series. A mass carrier wouldn't be bad. A mass carrier. Uh, you know, a mass archon just like ball you to the death. Yeah. Let's see. Let's I see how to talk to him. I was talking to him right now. Talk to him. Something <laughs> funny. Because he's got his game in the bag, so to speak. Um, Fifty-seven population to twenty-five. Um, two bases to one. But still, tremendous. Vulture keeping himself busy. Now, get the cover there, SCVs. Uh, I mean, the RCV count is back up again, but think about how much mining time he's lost. Look at this unit numbers. He's, he's, no, 63, 63 to 31. He's not. Uh... There, gather some units there. Yeah, but you know, it's still a big challenge to push up the ramp of a Terran, you know, with siege tanks and vulture mines everywhere. It's not the best place to be for Dragoon or Zelda. It, 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 it's not tough. It'll be easy. Within this, this unit. Now the Vulture's are moving. Vulture's moving out again. Gets totally spotted by an observer. The Protoss knows exactly what these guys are doing. Comes through. Gets intercepted by two Dragoons. Keeps running. There's nothing up there. I <laughs> brought a probe to add insult to injury.
Another command center being built on Terran Player realizes if he ever wants to have a chance, he needs to expand a little bit. Mine's going out. Charge it in the vultures. I wanna to try to keep I'm gonna to try to keep those alive. Okay, sees a bunch of gateways. Could be worse. Okay, sees the shuttle. Well, now it's definitely worse. Cause one. Cause. Cause two. Yep. Vultures do kill SCVs pretty quickly. Two shots them. Starts a third base for our Protoss player. This might be a final blow. You know what? The shuttle can bypass the Terra's defenses. Now it's moving. Observer clears out the mines for the Protoss army. I mean, just 91 population army, but when you look at a Terra having 29, this is massive. I don't, I don't they only have a three of the units. Yeah, it's uh, three, four siege tanks without ultra cover, which is why I don't think he should have just given up those uh, there was RTD, hiding, there was hiding VP or back and away, out of command center, gets revealed, killed, but a little too, little too late. A wave of forces from Protoss. Yeah, I think the game's over here, gentlemen. Unless you get a tank at a very good position. But then the shuttle comes in and drops something on top of it. So Let's see, if there are four six tanks, maybe it'll change. Well, tank has one weakness, and that, that is they cannot fire at targets right next to them. I think SCVs will block these guys. Well, we'll see about these as brave little SCVs. They've been have MVP this game. Oh, they're all more away from this. So let's... Yeah, Jamin is blue Protoss dominating. Protoss moving in. Uh, 110 pounds to 40. This is a slaughter. SCVs desperately trying to get away. Not gonna happen. Gets shut down. Oh, SCVs are going down. Now the brave little souls are charging in. Oh, I see you don't tell me to do that. Oh, GG. That's a oh, GG! GG! And Jamin! With overwhelming, overwhelming odds. Took the second game. Now we have a choice, guys. I mean, we can call the series here if you, want, if you guys want to see us. We're going to use the same map as we did last time. See the, first time, the, two, the first time, the first time, we're gonna see if the Terran player can pull this one back. The game on! Game on, and now we have a slightly different spawn. Terran on top, all yeah. on the bottom. You know, I really like what they did with StarCraft 2 is they made this part a lot more exciting and a lot shorter. Very short. Right, because you start with more workers. More like a 12 worker. Right, you yeah. start with a lot more workers and it's very easy to saturate so you get to the action a little quicker. So now in the first three minutes, we're not really doing much. We're yeah. waiting for these guys to do the same thing. We have this like, small title here right now. So if we do like, StarCraft 2, are you going to participate in this <laughs> big brand? I, I'd be too good for these guys. Okay. You know it. Seriously, if Terran plays that depot right next to the gas again, I'm just, I'm just gonna yell at him. I'm just gonna yell at him. It's, but I still, it's, he's, he's still there. It's the same place. But I, actually, I saw it, and it, it worked actually. It worked well. It worked well. I saw it. Let's see it again, yeah. I think it's blocking his own dudes. No, it's not blocking. It's not, not blocking, it's not blocking, it doesn't block. Yeah, yeah I, just, I just checked it. Yeah. So, it's like a, a line in there, a pathway from these SCVs. Yeah, we will show you later. So now, Protoss built their first gateway in the near their pylon. Well, this is a very standard start from the Protoss player, one pylon. 
So now it's gonna be down to Rakan. SCV out. What is he building? The same barrack. Same barrack. No shenanigans. The third game in a series. I was expecting our our Terra players to do a little more shenanigans because he obviously loses out on the running game. We wanted to see uh, a little more exciting tactics. Scouts the wrong place. Doesn't see the Protoss. Standard start from our Protoss player. <laughs> Let's see how they work here. <laughs> hey, 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 how was it? Sorry for missing your. Yeah, I did it. So look at here. These workers are the same. Best of five. This is the third game. Jamie won the first two. It's, it's, no, 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 it's two zero. I don't like what I'm seeing though, one. I mean, you know the, the Fortnite player is stronger, so if I were the Terran, I'd try to do a little cheesy tactics. I'm not seeing cheesy tactics. But well, both have like games. The pro gamers, they actually, Terran is the uh, strongest in the, the races. Well, if you go, yeah, if you go back to like the, you know, the J Dom from Earth, the yeah. uh, uh, Marine King days, absolutely. Two Marines blocking the ramp. Two gateways, very standard play from our cross play. Yep. And they are doing the Dragoon stuff. Yep. They're doing the Dragoon range upgrades so the Dragoon shoot a little further than the Marines and they can laugh at them as they dance away. Two factories at the same time. at the same time. Maybe Brenda hurt me. I think he's doing something cheesy. What can you do from two factories, number one? Bad Burser and uh, maybe fifth. The I don't know. Well, I think it's going to be a uh, just a sea of vultures trying to run their way into the base and cause havoc, which might work. Look at these. The Protoss has no scouting. He doesn't know what's going on. Rampant security blocked by the Marines. Portal SCV. That's the last hit he's ever going to take. One probe just chilling there next to the base and uh, not doing anything. They're looting this machine, machine shop. shop coming through. That's gonna probably gonna be the spider mines. Oh. But um, those are three, three, three ranged dragons. dragoons. This is the famous three dragoon push, isn't it? It's yeah, very, very, very strong. Standard. The Terran doesn't have anything to stop this. I mean, you're trying to fight it with Marines. No one defeated this siege tank. I think it'd be a hard game. Yep. If it's a siege tank, this is this will be very difficult. Marines, five Marines and an SCV. Probe start probing the ramp. Sees the same Marines. Oh. Alright, our Protoss player again, very happy with just a soft contain here. So now Dragons are moving in. Dragons are now moving in. Our Marine boys knows what's up. Blacks up. Siege tank comes out. Fourth and the fifth Dragoon. But I'll be honest, I don't think this is ever gonna work. Just because there's a tank on the high ground. Did they put oh they are now coming down, coming down. Now the Terran player coming down. I think this is a huge mistake. Wow. I think this is a huge mistake. I mean, those yeah, they four have dragoons for SCVs. Those dragoons can dance their way to heaven here. They need to sell me four. Wait, wait, this yeah. is this is different. This is about this is four, four five dragoons. Five dragoons against two tanks? Okay, that one dragoon needs to run. The hell away. There it is. No, I think it's still a contain. I mean, the Dragoons are still... Ah. They move I back. wonder when Siege will be done. That's why you know the Terran is now finally... No, now it's almost they are done. Down. Well, we don't know if it's mine or Siege mode. I don't like that second machine shop on the factory there. I think that's a waste of money. I mean, unless you were trying to it mass... Was it was mine. Mine was already in the Siege mode. Yeah. Protoss in a very strong position, comfortably. Comfortably expands. Oh, look at this, they detour. Little detour by the vultures, make it through two of them. Runs into two more. Ah, uh, laser. Which will laser mines. Those two vultures are gonna cause havoc. If they can get past the dragoons. But see, there's an observer there, so all those, all those spider mines are not gonna do much. Exactly. Gets cleared up by the dragoons. Thank <laughs> you. 
These vultures are surviving well. You know, I, I, I would hate the life of a vulture driver, you know? Yeah, already. Right. Running your own yeah, business, right. driving around. That point put me home. She's like, you're gonna try to lay some mines, and he runs into a giant dragoon with a oh, big white pole right. smash right in your face. Not fun. I can't even move up to for Protoss. I'm curious what the Protoss will do. I mean, this looks like a pretty, so pretty solid Terran position. That's nine dragoons. Not enough to break this. And I think at this time, he's building one more gateway. And two Protoss are just idle. Oh, okay, he's working now. Third base coming through for the Protoss. I think now Protoss should build this um, robotic factory to build river. Yeah, well, but see, I think the Terran is expecting that now. I mean, he's done it for like, what, two games in a row? Yep. Well, you know what? See, there's a missile turret right there, right in the mineral lines. Um, probably a good call not to do river drops. There are two more. Two more Ultra trying to make it through. Gets literally blocked by the Dragoon and goes, runs away. Oh, butthurt. Ooh, there strikes gold. Finds the new expansion. The triple pylon block this time working. Blocking the vulture out of the expansion base. Observer needs to run. Or die. Now they're Terran already right. coming through. Jamie is still building all the gateways. Jamie's got his heart set on gateway units. He's, uh, I mean, he's been winning with them, right? So no, no reason to fix something that ain't broken. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. We have the third, third base Nexus. coming through. If that becomes saturated, I don't like our Terran players' chances. New no, command center. center to go he's third base. Yeah, he's trying to do third. But uh, Terran being one base down from Protoss is pretty standard. That's that's standard. how really it should be. Now they are like um, a yep. going to fit for On uh, equal footings, the Terran will almost always win. Now they blocked this, this um, pathway to get in there. Yeah. So now, oh now, dragons are moving. Yeah. <laughs> Just starts doing the supply depot gets shut down by dragons. Jamie is definitely on top of the scouting game here. Sees the tank, doesn't really care. They have the kill. They, I think they have the vantage point here. I think he's trying to figure out if there's one tank or a wall oh, of tanks. So there's actually one tank and a wall of tanks. So I hope uh, Jamie doesn't move on with his dragoons here. No scouting information on the high ground. Tanks going down very quickly by range dragoons. I mean, you think these tanks are covering each other's tracks, but it doesn't look like that. This uh, SCV is repairing at the same time. SCV, busy at work repairing the tank. Nine Dragoons down to four. Two kills. Three kills here. Four more Dragoons are... Jamie needs to get his Dragoons to work, because there were four Dragoons working those tanks, and there were five looking on. He said, sure, you guys fight those big-ass tanks. I'm going to chill right here. Taking down another tank. Dragoons are a lot cheaper than tanks, so these may not be as bad a trade as you might think. But uh, no one's around here. Everybody's just holding their resources. Holding their resources. In. Throwing their resources in. But you know what? The Protoss has the fourth base coming up. You know, if they're throwing the same amount of resources, I can't manage the Protoss. <laughs> more more, more, more Dragoons coming. coming through. The operator is coming here. Look at this, there are seven gateways There here. are going to be seven gateways. They are, they are fighting here very quickly. I'm almost curious go close, why... Go closer, go closer, go closer. Now the Dragoons are running oh, the tanks, it gets close enough. Oh, this mine. 
Mine killed that mine saved those tanks. Two more tanks taking defensive positions. I mean, but I like what the Protoss is doing. I mean, it may look like he's throwing resources at a Terran, but he's stopping the Terran from taking a, a third base, right? right? He's fighting four bases to two. He can throw as many resources as he wants. It's not going to change the outcome of the game. All these gateways are building stuff now. Nine gateways coming through. He really likes his, uh, his Dragoons. But I almost want to see a giant sea <laughs> of <laughs> zealots. Because the tanks are, are running... But naked, there are no vultures, no mines protecting them. You throw a squad of zealots on top of them and they're dead. That's true. The another wave of dragons are preparing. A wave of dragons, but this, is a, this game is. I mean, at least this base is pretty secure for the, for the Terra now. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine gateways. Nine gateways. I mean, two gateways per base. It's okay. Now they have a one upgrade, one attack upgrade here. Why? Oh, they have a one upgrade, one upgrade here. on the tanks. One one here. Now, this like is now Terra is building. Really Finally, we have for, we have a Terra coming through with a starport. I am waiting for a better cruiser on the air. Now there are five birders. You know what? With three bases, I don't think a Terra player will ever get to battle cruisers in play. Maybe later when he takes another two bases. Dragoon's moving to defend a base. It's like he's clairvoyant. I mean, he just knows those vultures, pesky little vultures are coming through. Smells, smells the vultures, kills one, the rest runs away. And Don't run into the mines. Don't run into the mines. All right, all right. That's why you always need to keep an observer very handy. Yeah, moving back, running around. It's not like a one mine could kill what you're doing anyway, so it's not that big a deal. As you mentioned, now they are full of zealots around here. Now, are you satisfied yeah. now? Yeah, I so, yeah, not with that many. I mean, I want to see like at least two squads of them. You know, like he's Let's got their, he's it's got like their, nine gateways. Yeah, from. just like do two squads of zealots and throw them at a base. And like juggling. Just like juggling. But you think about it, okay. zealots are just slightly bigger, more muscular, bipedal. Zerglings. 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 They're just Zerglings. Where are they going? Zerglings. Oh, oh, runs into a mine. See, that mine wasn't that big of a deal, but now the Terran player knows this army is coming. Yep. Are they working now? Oh, they are heading to up top. See, that's what's called a poorly defended base. Nobody was mining the uh, the ramp there. Terran units surrounded, killed. These vultures need to start running away. They oh, they see no, the, uh, Mine just kill themselves again. See, here's the problem because both um, players and our population blocked. Oh yeah. They ran out of supplies, right? They lost so many units and so many buildings. Not units, so they, they can't produce any more units. Now these poor dragoons are stuck up there. Oh. These poor souls are stuck on the high ground. If you can just use those zealots. They're going around, zealots. Leading the way, more tanks coming through. There's one zealot absolutely going balls deep on the other ones. Love bit dance? Going nuts. Doing your still show tonight? That's one fucking hippie, that's one hippie zealot. <laughs> oh, now one. Terra's moving. Yeah, Terra's now moving out, but look at that. Unseaged siege tanks against zealots and well positioned dragoons. I don't know. Well, more Terra's coming to help. But another war. Of See, this is what we're talking about. Get some zealots on the ground. Go rush the tanks, okay. and that's a zealot 
that they're in close dogs. combat with a tank. How do you think that's gonna go? Oh. Alright, GG! Right. That's a 3-0 white! Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, congratulate our... Wait, what are you again? Yeah. Jamie! <laughs> Jamie, you're the champion of the five dudes who play StarCraft at CBS. Woo. Well done. Oh, <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you for coming tonight, guys. <laughs> wow. You said 20 minutes, you grab a drink at the social, people.